Hi, welcome to Matthew's Meek Banner. I thought this morning I'd show you my routine of um, taking care of Jaeger. It uh, consists of a, a couple things. One, I get her into a small travel kennel. And I train her to do that and get to jump right in there. That's really important. That can be important for whenever you're out in the field and you need to get her back. She always gets a treat, so she's highly motivated to get into that little kennel. Once I have her in the kennel, I take her in and I weigh her. I want to weigh her every day uh, that I can just to make sure that she's not getting overweight because an overweight mink doesn't operate and work very well for you and training is more difficult because they're not motivated by food. And then I put her on her run and then we're going to do some uh, some recall and cash box training with her. So let's take a look at that. So here's Jaeger. This is what she does every morning. She's anxiously awaits for me out here. Her pin's over there, back there in the back. But her little swimming pool is right up here and she's anxious to get fed and get out. So she's right there every morning. So I keep all my mink food in a freezer long term and I keep it in a refrigerator for the short term and usually I only try to keep maybe four days of fresh food in a refrigerator and I, I put it in a little, uh, little plastic container with a lid or in a plastic bag and I only keep like I said four days on hand the rest of it stays in here I have a small kitchen scale that I use um, it's just a digital scale and I use grams instead of ounces. Grams is just easier to keep track of and, and smaller weights. I have a little container here I'm going to use that I put her in to weigh her. I, I take a care weight on here so this is zeroed out and, I, and she climbs in there and she's been trained. It actually has a little hole in it right here that uh, I can put the food through when, when she gets, when I get done weighing her and that's a reward. This is her this is her pet kennel, um, and I just put food on the back here through a little hole, and when she climbs in, she immediately gets a treat, and that's something I learned from Joseph Carter, and you always want to be doing that so that they're rewarded, and they'll go into this kennel, and you don't have a problem, and they'll come back from, they'll come out of a hole, or come back from hunting, and they'll go in this, and so that, but they need to be trained, they're not going to go in there naturally, so, I'm gonna weigh some food for her. Oh, the other thing I do is I have just a simple composition book and I keep a daily journal. Um, I've been keeping a journal since uh, she was, since I got her. And this is my weight and training journal. Um, I've come up with a rubric for the retrieving, caching, or tracking, retrieving, and caching training. I need to write up a small, simple rubric for um, like kennel training, for training to take her weight, um, and also for recall and cash box training. Because what I do is I just use A, B, C, D, and an F, and or you could use one, two, three, four, five as well. And uh, it's a simple way of writing down so I can take an idea of how her weight is doing compared to how she's. Um, responding to her training and it helps me keep track of how she's doing so I keep a daily journal um, at least as much as possible but hardly ever do I miss a day so I'm going to measure out her food and uh, write it down in here and then we're going to take her weight I like to use a little plastic container uh, to weigh her food in. It's really simple to do. Let me get a close-up of that. So this morning she's going to get 60 grams of food. So I got a little bit of ground food and also some food I just need to cut up. This is some liver. This gives her vitamins. And then I just take a little bit of the ground meat and 
I just put it on the back of her kennel through a little hole and just kind of smear it on there. And I'll go get her. So let's go get her. So the idea here for kennel training is that she goes immediately into the kennel and, and gets her little treat. Come on, get in your kennel. That was really good. I just, I just lock it and uh, you can see that she's getting her little treat there. That's the first thing she does, she gets that little treat. So the first thing in weighing her is to get a tear weight on this. I just put it on there and hit the tear button so that it's zero. It weighs 241 grams. I can always, you can always just subtract, I guess, but it's easier to get a tear weight on there. Get her out. And she pretty readily goes into here. She'll walk in there. Come on, get in there. And that's part of the, her getting a good grade is to go right into this little thing, container. And then she normally she'll settle down and I'll just watch the weight. Yeah, eleven sixty five. I'm gonna call it eleven sixty five. That's close enough. That's within plus or minus ten grams. And when I'm done with that, I, I'm going to take her out and I'm going to put her harness on. So might as well just show that right here. Most of the time, and, I, and this is a harness that I made. So I'll get her out. Get a hold of her. Pretty good at putting her harness on. Come on. There you go. Squeeze right in. Okay, stop it. Okay, now we're gonna go put her out on her run. You wanna get in my pocket? Okay, good girl. So let me show you her um, at the end of her harness. I have a little loop that I've sewn on on this little lead here and I have a little brass clip and it makes it really easy it just slides along this rope and it doesn't have to be anything really super strong but it should be durable and I just clip her on there and then she can start playing okay so we're gonna start doing some uh, recall and cash box training with her this morning while I go about doing some chores first thing I'm gonna do with her though is I'm gonna break a little hole in her pond her swimming pool. swim under the ice. There she goes. So this morning, along with doing some recall training with Jaeger, I'm going to do some cash box training. 
this is just giving her a reward for going into the cash box when I call her name and say cash it. When I call her name, I want her to come to me and she gets a little reward as well, a piece of food. And when she goes into the box, there's a little hole here and she gets a reward for going into the box and it's fed through the hole. I'm gonna, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna keep the box away from her and so that, that when I bring the box over to her and call her name and say cash it, she'll go into the box and then she'll get a reward. So before I've been leaving the box just right here, we're just gonna do something just a little bit different. Um, it's more realistic to being out in the field. So now she's playing in there. I'm gonna get a little piece of food ready. Her favorite, some liver. It's just poultry liver. And call her name. Jaeger, 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 cash it. Okay, she went right into the cash box. I'm gonna click the clicker. Her little nose is right there. I'm gonna feed her that piece of liver. So that was really good. That was an A on the rubric. She, you know, she came and she went right in. So I'm gonna go take care of the chickens and just set the camera up so you can watch Jaeger playing. And uh, then I'll come back and then call her name. I'm gonna wait until she's done eating and comes out because I'm gonna take the cash box away. Okay, she's done. I'm gonna take the cash box out of her way and go about doing some chores. So that was another good cash, you know. She knows that she can get her food right in here. So that was a good cash. I liked that to see that. I'm gonna call her name and have her come right over here by me. over here a little bit farther and call her over here she knows that when she goes in the cash box she'll get a treat but if she goes in and I don't end up without calling her I don't, I'm not going to give her a treat. I want her to do it on command. Get down. Get down. Stay down. So if I put it down and she goes in there and begs for a treat, that's okay. But. I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna call her now she's playing in the box. Jaeger! 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 Good girl. Jaeger! I'm gonna let her finish eating her food. Jaeger! 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 Cash it! Cash it! Good girl. One, one more recall train because that's all the food I got left. See, 
See, now she's just following me around. I want her to be distracted by something, and then I'll call her. Jaeger! 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 Good girl. This is the last of her food. So this concludes our training. So this is working out really well. I'm really happy that I went back and read some of Joseph Carter's book and, and decided that I needed to take a break from trying to do all of this lure training where she was tracking, retrieving, and caching a lure. She did it really well for a while, but there was some basic training that I had neglected and kind of skipped over, which is why I'm going back to the basics because training, training a mink is not easy. It's a challenge. And uh, they have a mind of their own, but they, they can be trained very well with consistent, um, simple techniques. And the simple technique I'm going back to is using food and, and giving her some commands, using a little simple clicker to reinforce those commands, and, uh, and she's doing a lot better. It's just been two weeks since I've been doing this. I'll probably do it for a couple more weeks until it's really, really, I'm sure that it's ingrained and she's doing it nearly perfectly every time. And then I'll go back to doing some lure training where we're gonna be doing some tracking, retrieving, and caching training, and mixing up the obstacles, putting uh, a lure underneath a board in a tube, and then we'll work on that if we have to, and then we'll consistently always be training her to do this. All right.